become a patron at www.patreon.com forward slash golden era bookworm for hard to find books, scans of rare photos and articles on the golden era of bodybuilding. Hi everybody, Golden Era Bookworm here. Today I'd like to start a series on Bruce Lee, the dragon who, believe it or not, was a bodybuilder as well as one of the greatest martial artists of all time. And he developed his physique to such a point that when he appeared on screen, people were just blown away. Never had such a dynamic and exciting, explosive character ever graced the theatre screen. His charisma combined with his shredded physique and lightning fast actions changed martial arts film forever. As clearly shown in this photo here of his most famous film, Enter the Dragon. I mean, he looks like a real lean, mean fighting machine. Look at the expression on his face. He's just, he's just ready for action. His muscles are defined and beautifully balanced. And he looks like a jungle cat just ready to pounce. An amazing human being Bruce Lee truly was. Today, um, we are going to focus on, on the start to his bodybuilding journey and his favorite training methods. I hope you enjoy this, uh, this uh, video. Now, of course, Bruce Lee was not your typical bodybuilder. It is well known that Bruce Lee used a variety of training methods, including bodybuilding, to build his phenomenal physique. But his physique was definitely not for competition. And this is one of the reasons uh, why his musculature was so different to the typical bodybuilder, is that um, his, his uh, physique was not, or his training methods were not the purpose for show. They were, uh, above all else, concerned with function. And I mean, when you look at his movies and you see him leaping eight feet into the air and kicking a light bulb or um, or landing a punch or kicking somebody um, with lightning speed and, and just throwing them two, three meters back, you can see that his training methods were not just bodybuilding, but also he, he focused on strength, power and speed. And and this is what made, uh, made Bruce Lee such a dynamic presence in his movies. Now, the combination of Bruce Lee's training methods led to his wonderfully balanced and symmetrical physique as shown in this, this uh, photo from Enter the Dragon. You can see he's just standing relaxed. But if you ask anyone on the street whether they'd like to uh, look like Bruce Lee, most people would say yes. I mean, he's lean and he's, he's, he, had, he had incredible lightning fast reflexes. He was flexible. He was graceful like a cat and, and muscular and with, and with definition to boast. I mean, the man had it all. He was a complete package. Uh, I mean, never before had or, or maybe since has such a complete athlete ever graced the screen in the movie. I, I, you have to admit that for sure. Now, Bruce Lee, in his earlier life, only practiced martial arts, and there's a very interesting story in regards to the turning point which changed Lee's approach to training and, and made him want to start bodybuilding and, and strength training. And according to his wife, uh, to now widowed, of course, Linda Lee Cadwell, um, uh, Lee received a scroll um, challenging, to, to, uh, challenging him to, to fight if he wanted to continue teaching white people in the US after he had opened up his school. And uh, pictured here is his challenger. And the story goes that um, after just a few minutes, Bruce Lee defeated the guy. Um, and although he had him running to the door, uh, Bruce Lee was unsatisfied with his performance because he felt winded at the end of the, um, of the fight. And he thought he could have finished the fight much, much faster. And so he started turning to alternative training methods to improve his uh, overall fitness and strength. So after this disappointment um, that Bruce Lee felt, even though he won the fight, he felt that he needed to improve his physical condition to really reach his total physical potential. And so he just had this incredible hunger for knowledge and he started subscribing to muscle magazines, reading all sorts of books. It is claimed that in his library, he even read Eugene Sandow's original books on bodybuilding. Um, he, he subscribed and, and paid to, um, to start all these um, mail order courses, um, which I'll talk about later. And, and, oh, and the most important thing is, although he developed an incredible library on martial arts and on training methods, he started applying his knowledge and testing all these different kinds of training principles on himself. Now, in my um, reviews of, of Bruce Lee's books, which I have pre pretty much every single book he, he or other people ever wrote on Bruce Lee, um, 
I've come across all these different types of training methods that Bruce Lee used. And one of the first ones he used was um, isometrics as promoted by Bob Hoffman, which I'll have to talk about in a separate video. Um, another one, of course, was a development of strength. Um, he also looked at bodybuilding. And um, he also had a Marcy circuit trainer, which he purchased and used until basically the day of his death. And so he was also into circuit training. He, he tried all these different methods. Um, of course, um, cardiovascular training through through uh, cardiovascular activities such as jogging, and of course, all the martial arts um, techniques that he used was also obviously part of his training. Um, he, he trained for flexibility, and in particular, he enjoyed um, specializing in grip strength training, and he actually uh, devised his own machine, which I'll have to talk about in a separate video, and, and another, of course, big thing for, for Bruce Lee was specializing in his core, his core being the center of his body, um, no wonder everyone always talks about, man, he's got such ripped abs, you can see his, his abdominals are so well developed, and of course, they're very important if you want to kick someone on the head, right, um, the, the core is extremely important, and and Bruce Lee specialized heavily in core strength training as well. So over the next few videos, I'm going to focus on Bruce Lee's training methods, his diet, and all these different things that he did to develop his phenomenal physique. Here he is in one of his movies doing a, a front lat spread, basically. It's, it's part of the movie where he actually warms up, um, I believe, before a fight. And, and he just flares his lats out and he cracks all his bones and he's just look at that look at that lat spread on him I mean he may not have ha have had the biggest arms or biggest chest but his back was super strong his his abdominals his forearms and and his and his hips especially for all that kicking he had incredible and incredible strength in some of these body parts I mean who wouldn't want to have lats like Bruce Lee damn I mean look at that lat spread it's phenomenal I mean uh, it's it's just a beautifully um, defined lean and athletic physique that Bruce Lee developed. And I, and I can't wait to share a lot of these methods that he used. So I hope you've enjoyed watching this video on Bruce Lee the Dragon. I definitely have. He was one of my childhood heroes. If you've enjoyed the video, please give it a thumbs up. Sub subscribe if you haven't to the Golden Era Bookworm. Leave me a comment and thank you for watching. If you'd like to, um, to uh, support my work, please go to www.patreon.com forward slash golden era bookworm where you can become a Patreon and have exclusive access to old school bodybuilding material. You can also support me via PayPal. Um, the description is given below. Thanks for watching. This is the Golden Era Bookworm. Bye for now.